the criminalization of migration is what produces the situations that are generally called trafficking. When people die attempting to cross borders, our media treats them as victims and treats their deaths as sad. And when people live and successfully cross borders, they're treated as criminals. Anti-trafficking rhetoric generally allows for there to be a sort of progressive veneer put across uh, policies and implementation of those policies and policing that we would in other contexts recognise as brutal. Violent raids into people's workplaces, people wrenched from the homes that they've had for years and years and years, deported to a country that they tried to get away from and for that to be called rescue mm -hmm. is really insidious and unfortunately it's really taken hold especially in the last 10 years. Drug policy and sex work policy, they have a lot in common because they, they problematize a certain act, a certain behavior, but these are really ways to control and punish populations of poor people, of migrants, of women, of people of color, and drug use and prostitution have historically been ways to reach those people. Through criminal law? Through criminal law. Them. It sucks that our response to drug use and prostitution is to think how we can criminalise things and how we can take something away, how we can take a survival strategy away from someone, when actually our response should be to think about how we can give them the resources that they need, whether that's time or housing or healthcare or money or a prescription, like whatever it is, let's just like give people what they need. We always have to hold on to the idea that people are responding rationally to an irrational world when people have, uh, you know, a drug addiction, they are self-medicating and when that, that like isn't taken into account then they become um, perverse or they become strange or unknowable, just like with the sex work conversation. And I think that drug usage and sex work being like of the body, drugs and sex, are so, they're so distracting. They take away from thinking about the needs that people are trying to get met, which are much more prosaic and, and normal and yeah. most people could relate to wanting to you know, ease their pain in some way or put food on the table. Yeah, medicate trauma. Yeah, um, and you know, as Molly says, the decriminalization of sex work and drug use and drug selling, these are, these are all bound up together because the harms of either exacerbate the harms of the other.